In this video we shall solve one of the exercises in the chapter. The exercise suggests factoring out common code from the subclasses of filter and moving it to the filter class. This exercise is described as challenging. In this copy of version 2 of the Image Viewer project, we note that the apply methods of the darker filter, lighter filter and threshold classes are very similar. Each one iterates over the complete grid of pixels obtains a single pixel at each step, modifies it, and then sets the modified pixel back in the grid. While the similarity is particularly noticeable between darker filter and lighter filter, threshold filter follows a similar pattern. The idea will be to move this iteration pattern to a method in the superclass filter, and have the subclasses just provide their distinctive transformation. While there are different ways that this could be achieved, the exercise specifically asks for the subclasses to pass the image and a transformation object to the superclasses method, so that's the solution we shall illustrate. As a first step, we've created a transform all method in filter that reproduces the basic pattern in the apply methods of the subclasses. Currently this does nothing to the image, it simply gets and sets each pixel without change. The missing step is a transformation of some form something that takes the colour object representing a pixel and returns a colour object in a different state. We could simply define an abstract method in filter that matches this and then have the subclasses implement it, but we've chosen a different approach. Instead we should define an interface that contains a method with those characteristics and require an implementing object to be passed to the method. The difference this makes is that it does not limit the transformation functionality to subclasses of filter any implementation of the interface can be passed to transform all. We've called the interface pixel transformer and the method transform. The transform all method now takes a parameter of this type and calls its transform method on each pixel. All that remains is for each of the subclasses of filter to create an appropriate instance of the interface and pass it to the transform all method. Here's the version in darker filter. Adding similar implementations in the other subclasses completes the exercise. 